and sends me out into the day. <laughs> Looking out on the morning rain, like there's a lot of rain. Hi, I'm Jessica with Kaya, Bria, Michelle, Camille, and Gia. You're watching G Talk. Will you marry me? Okay. The essence of a man is to take care of the woman he loves. I have the perfect marriage to follow. There's a show called G Talk. Beautiful, yes, but fashionable, no. Shout out to G Talk. Can you learn how to sing? Or are you born with it? To help us with this episode, our guest for today has been dubbed the Timeless Diva. She has been performing since 1979 and teaching voice lessons since 2005. So welcome to our 26-step cheat sheet for learning how to sing. That's right. So please welcome Miriam Panti. Hi, everyone. Hi, beautiful ladies. Hi, Hi. Hello. Thanks for the invite. I'm happy to be here tonight. Excited and about this show. There's so much to talk about. So if it's all right with you, let's get started with our two-minute fast talk. Okay, sure. Hey, foods to avoid before singing. Oh, peanuts, dairy, sweets, chocolate. Be diaphragmatic breath. It's way deep down from your abdomen. Me, chest voice. Close to your speaking voice. And if you put your hand here and say, ah, you'll feel that vibration. It's close to the chest area. D, diction exercises. Me, oh, me, oh, me, oh, me, oh, me. E, a, e, a, e, a, e, a, e. There's so many. E, physical exercises for singers. Right. Uh, you're using this for most of the time, the vocal muscles. So stretching and mouth stretching and tongue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of silliness. F, stage fright. The nervousness right before you get up on stage and perform in front of your audience. G, great note. Embellishment. Uh, an added note is an ornament that's not really essential to the harmony or melody. For the, let's say, um, national anthem. The basic note is, oh, say, can you see? Right? So you can add, oh, say, can you see? Like? A lot of... Uh, H, singing too high. <laughs> That's too high for me. I, imitating singers. Oh, uh, when I was younger, I used to imitate Karen Carpenter. You are the one who makes me happy when everything else turns to gray. So, Jay, a singer you want to have jam sessions with? Beyonce, the late Luther Vandross, J Lo, just because I like her. Not not more on the voice quality, but just the totality. Just to see her in person. Mary J. Blige, the late Whitney. Okay, karaoke singing. Turn away a slam the door. El legato. Legato is connected notes. The opposite of staccato. Staccato is oh, 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 oh. Legato is oh. M, microphone technique. If you're singing soft, low tones, you keep the head of the microphone at least an inch close to your lower lip. And when, you're, when you have to belt those crazy high, big notes, pull away maybe six inches at the most. Depends on the how good your sound system is. And vocal naps. Complete vocal rest. No talking, no whispering even, no singing. Complete. Mm. Oh, octave. One octave is do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. So from do, lower do to the next do. So the eight notes in between. Or whichever you start a do, do to do, re to re, mi to mi. That's uh, eight notes. Series of eight notes. Okay, P, singing posture. In anything, not just with singing, you have to be like, you know, back straight, butt out. <laughs> I guess like, you know, joining a beauty pageant. Q, good vocal quality. You have to have the perfect pitch, clear tone, oh. clear enunciation, uh, volume, emotion, all those. R, find your vocal range. My personal vocal range is from C3 to C6. But ideally, it's like two and a half to three octaves apart. So uh, meaning it's, it's a, your comfortable 
lowest note to your highest note that you can sing. S. Singing pet peeves. I don't like it when a singer or a band member plays louder than the other, especially when they're doing harmony. They have to be sensitive and really listen to each other. You know, balance for everybody is very important. So you don't upstage the other one. C. Give us three common misconceptions about singing. It's not that easy. It requires a lot of practice and discipline. Another one is you you like dive straight to singing without warming up. Understanding your vocal range. Associated with, with what I mentioned earlier, it's it's you know you feel your lowest note that you can that you can sing and your and as well as the highest note. V vibrato. Uh, it's a vocal muscle oscillation. W warm up exercises. Oh, there's so many mum 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 or humming even or X. A singer with a mad X factor. Beyonce is one. Aretha Franklin. Mariah Carey, of course. Whitney Houston. Why? Why? A technique you wished you learned at an early age. When I was younger, I didn't know how to sing using my head voice because I was a like a you know like belter like yeller before my my learning techniques before I enrolled in like a professional you know um, uh, singing um, school uh, I would just yell my lungs out and I thought it was singing because I could hit hit those high notes not knowing that it's gonna damage my vocal cords because I was just yelling without technique without support so my head voice weakened suffered so it's like producing a head voice like this and also, maybe um, I could have learned the whistle when I was younger. So the whistle, like now. Mariah and Ariana Grande. Z, a thirty-day comfort zone challenge to your students. You have to learn, listen, digest your lyrics, your your song emotion. Uh, prepare yourself physically. Warm up consistently. Vocal exercise consistently. Stay away from foods that are really bad for your throat. At least. You know, a few days before the, sh the the concert, like sweets, avoid sweets, peanuts, spicy. Um, some people are okay with cold drinks. Some some singers are okay with warm drinks. So it, it depends on, on 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 the individual. That's the second time you mentioned peanut. There's a like a superstitious belief with with uh, when you speak with um you know the old timers, the the singers from like 60s, 70s, all the uh, artists in involved at the concert cannot eat peanuts because something bad will happen like there's a bad luck but i think technically it's like when you eat peanuts all kinds of nuts when you start grinding and biting it they turn into like tiny sharp particles they're not soft chewy liquidy a few pieces of them might get stuck <laughs> Well, that makes and, sense. Yeah, and, and yeah, and it will make your your throat itch, of course, mm -hmm. or you you got <clears throat> that kind of feeling. So water is good. Room temperature is safe. Uh, I'm not a tea kind of a person when it comes to the ritual before singing, or I don't drink coffee because anything that will dehydrate you will make it hard for you to sing. You will experience that. <clears throat> that kind of feeling right, that's exactly that dry you don't want that you have to hydrate 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 you mean that yeah. every time you practice like every song break you have to drink water yeah but the um uh, probably i can suggest like take a sip yeah. not drink <laughs> not <laughs> because you, you don't want to get so full because the tendency for you is to burp right <laughs> so take a sip just to moisten hydrate moisten the throat when you eat something with any dairy products, you feel that <clears throat> that kind of feeling like there's thick phlegm that you want to swallow, but you can't swallow because of the dairy products in your food. So the best thing is to wash them down with just water. So is it bad to clear your throat? Doing this, <clears throat> it can damage something. Mm -hmm. it's a, there's a possibility. The best thing to do is swallow. And... Take a sip of water. Controlling them, how did you strengthen your head voice? You know what's what's what really helped me is when I enrolled myself to my ex voice teacher Cecil Sarcon when she was still residing in the Philippines. I was still residing in the Philippines. She really maneuvered my mechanism, my instrument. 
like I was already singing professionally for three years when I met her and I changed everything totally. Like I went back to square one, like an amateur. So in the beginning, in the process of applying the technique that she taught me, I was cracking here and there. Like I never cracked before I met her, before I, I enrolled at her school. But since there's something that is being maneuvered and renovated, <laughs> I guess I always say renovated because it, they, there's some major changes that she did with regards to application and technique before i met her i i knew how to yell probably let's put it that way i yelled all my crazy high notes up there it's it's not the right uh way to do it that's why pala when i was younger i would lose my voice after every concert i would go home with uh, speaking like that and the technique and the key is really longevity except of course when you age well in most cases of course your voice matured also so it thickens it deepens somehow so would you have to practice every day to get that longevity or how often do you think that you'd have to practice i don't think it's gonna harm if you practice every day but okay. i also believe there's a such a thing as over practicing so if you want to vocalize, ideally every day should be like 15 to 20, but always start with breathing exercises, you know, the, the process, breathing exercises and then vocal exercises, and then you sing your songs that you want to sing. But maybe don't exceed an hour altogether every day because it's going to tire you. If you can't sing every day, can you just vocalize? That's a good question. You can hum instead of, let's say, mama, 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 me, yo, you can just, it's a, almost kind of the same thing. It's warming up your your instrument, your vocal cords. Or this one is very helpful. Lip, lip, lip trail or lip roll. Some people are actually, they have a hard time doing that. So I tell them to do um, the tom trill. The, but some people can't also do that. Oh. So either, either is, is effective. So the real question is, can anyone learn how to sing or are you born with it? In my whole entire teaching life, I met two, maybe semi-tone deaf students. Oh, no. One is seven years old and one is like a 33 year old male. They are not deaf because they can hear when I um, play the piano, they can hear what I play. They can hear the notes, but they cannot mimic. They cannot copy the sound that they are hearing. Students like them will progress a little bit slower than the rest. I get challenged when I meet students like, like those. So how long did it take that student to learn? To okay, let's say a regular you know, student will improve in three to four months. You will hear and you'll see a great improvement already with them maybe double that time you you had um, a voice teacher when you were younger how long were you doing that i worked with her for a good two or three months only because after that she had to leave for the states now so i went search another vocal trainer and then i stayed with that um lady for i think another one or two months and that's about it because once you get the technique you, you're not gonna forget oh, because as you're long already you're already a professional singer. Yes, I was already singing professionally for three years when I met Cecil Asarcon. But for those who are not, who are beginners, how long does it Oh, yeah. 75 to 80% of my students are, are newbies. They want to have fun. They just want to sing, like karaoke. It doesn't have to be like, you know, to go professional. They just want to mm -hmm. be confident. Because you know how, like, especially Filipinos, I have a lot of Filipino students. Karaoke in the house, everywhere they go, family gathering, karaoke. I have actually one student, um, I'm not sure if you've heard of her, Ilona Santiago. She's a top six from X Factor. How long was she doing voice lessons? Uh, probably two years. Me, She started singing with me when she was eight. But you can see the potential, right? You, you, you will see. And now I have a six-year-old um, student who's incredibly good. Give us a sample for head tone, chest tone, and is the same falsetto. There's a there's a slight difference between head voice and falsetto. Head voice is more um, a little breathy than falsetto. Head voice is more um, like Mariah. <laughs> There's a, a slight breath in it. Falsetto is more clear, sharp, fine. 
kind of the same. This this small difference. So okay, chess is this. Honey, honey. I'm I'm just using the my speaking voice. So honey, 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 honey. Same quality except I added the notes. Now head voice is is not your natural speaking voice. So it's all felt. The vibration is felt here at the back of your head. It's all here. It's all here. You know opera singer songs like Think of me, think of me fondly when you said goodbye. I understand what an octave is. Okay, so like I said, my lowest is C3. That's Do, third octave from the very left side of the keyboard, right? That's why it's called C3. It's the third Do, third C. Because Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, right? It, um, in chord C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, so that's my lowest. Work your way up. Ma, 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 ma. That's one octave. C to C. Eight notes interval, and then second from this where I left off, uh, the second C. Ma, 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 ma. I move forward. Ma, 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 ma. So that's three octaves. So what's considered a whistle note then? Is that the highest? Or like I'm not really good with whistling because. <laughs> I know it it can do harm right. when you do that a lot because you're going to end up with a raspy boy and your head voice will suffer big time because you know you don't whistle a lot with with most of the songs it's not required right it's just an you know an embellishment a, a spice to make you sound cool I used to be an alto alto like I didn't know how to produce a I didn't know how to do that until yeah older. Too. Um, the importance of doing vocal exercises, you mm -hmm. discover so many things that you wouldn't think that, you know, you can do. You, you can explore how much you, your voice can reach. That's why one major thing to do, aside from the vocal exercises, is to mimic any song of your choice. Like try to copy the way they sing, copy the way they breathe, copy the way they pronounce that word copy the way they blast that big note out because in that manner you will know how much your voice can expand not just because okay this is my tone i'll stick to this you can change you can i gave you an example earlier of how i used to mimic karen carpenter when i was younger i remember back in high school so her voice is very alto very you know very cool very easy it's effortless. Like you are the one. Her voice is oh, makes me happy when everything else turns to gray. And the and the vibrato is very eighties to gray. So when I try to copy Aretha, which is so hard to copy, I try to make my voice thicker and like more feistier like you know uh, looking out on a morning rain like there's a lot of ah. i'm forcing myself to do that for aretha it's normal like it's nothing right i'm like because <laughs> her voice is really very very unique you have a very beautiful voice i learned a lot thank you i should get a voice coach oh wait i already have one <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. So there you have it. Anybody who can speak, can learn how to sing. All it takes is knowing the proper singing techniques and practicing consistently. You know, while like videos can help so much, I think there's really no substitute for a trained vocal teacher who can give you feedback and teach you the correct exercise to help you achieve your goal to sing. So remember, <laughs> No one started as a pro. You got to put in the work. Hard work and discipline. Yep. Thanks again, Miriam. And we leave you with this quote. Don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you can't get it wrong. Thanks for watching.